Hey guys, Professor Travis Took here, and I want to show you one of my favorite takedowns. Incredibly simple, uh, yet highly effective, and it's going to land you right in an armbar submission. So we're going to look at this very common necktie uh, position right here. And what I'm going to do uh, from this position is try to quickly pop my shoulder inside and underhook here. So now I have more inside control. Quickly from here, before he has a chance to react, I'm going to shoot my hands together like this and achieve this deep gable grip here and shrug my shoulders. From This takes a lot of his ability to sort of uh, get out of the position away and it weakens his upper body. From here, I'm just going to circle to the outside while I lift and pull him straight to the ground. From here, I check his head, pick his arm into position, step, and arm bar. So one more time, we tie up. From this position, I pop my shoulder in very quickly and hook. Then I bring my hands. I really like this deep gable grip as opposed to just palm to palm. It gives me a little tighter squeeze right here. I squeeze my shoulder in. I'm going to pull my right elbow straight down and my left elbow up as I just circle around right here. To keep him from rolling out, I drop my knee right on the chest, switch to the grip, post against the face to keep him from flattening, and quickly turn, securing the leg. This stops him from doing the hitchhiker escape. As I sit, lift my elbow, squeeze, and then bring both my hands to the armbar. So try that one, guys. It's an awesome way to really catch your opponent by surprise. It's fast. It's very effective, and your opponent will be tapping before they even realize they were taken down. Hey guys, this is Professor Jose. I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite ways to attack from the back mount position. Now on, on this, I am anticipating something, right? Typically, you have the back mount, this is my choke inside, you wanna bring your partner this way to attack the choke. What he wants to do, he wants to do get his head to a safe side, so it's harder for me to choke, right? So I'm simply just anticipating that position. Uh, one thing I want to do is I want to get my hips a little further away. I'm going to get my feet to the outside, and I'm going to get my head very heavy to this side. That way he's not able to get the head to the mat. Now this is where the straight jacket concept comes in, right? I'm reaching, a, I'm grabbing a cross. This is what I'm doing. Important detail that this hand is not on the top, it's on the bottom. And typically you're gonna have, uh, uh, this is gonna be available when they try to break your seatbelt grip. I'm just gonna swing, pump inside. And I don't wanna fight with his hands up here. I wanna keep him close to his body. Sort of like a concept of a seatbelt and then he's sort of stuck. That's why I call it a straight jacket. Now I'm gonna flare the elbow out to simply use my heel just to catch the wrist. And I'm gonna slide it down and keep my foot right on the side of the hip in detail I don't want to I don't have to do a body lock or anything else I just want to keep it here and pinch my knee tight there so now I'm gonna feed my hand this way and then I'm attack the neck the way I'm gonna attack the neck is my thumb is gonna start on this side huge detail look at my head separation this will be difficult so I want to kind of lean them forward so I can start getting my hand inside now this might not be enough pressure so what I want to do is I want to hide my hand behind my chin and reach as much as I can so then I can bring my elbow down and finish my choke. Typical counter, they start sliding downward. I'm gonna control the Kimura or the Americana grip right here, right? Next step, I'm gonna stretch my leg to move the hips and I'm gonna switch my weight to this side. This manipulation of the arm is huge. I'm bringing them this way. Now watch my toes. I don't wanna do a big change here. He can catch the half guard and all that, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep pressure on the chest my toes are gonna point downward. And then when I bring my knee uh, here, that's when I'm gonna flare my toes to the other side. Circle my toes to the other side. I'm gonna bring my knee up towards me and then bring the foot over to the other side. I have an easy Americana here. If he turns towards me or I reach in, grab the triangle. And one of my favorite is the arm bar, lateral arm bar. I'm looking to finish this way. One more time. Run through this a little quicker. So I'm here, just eight here, fight the grips, trap the arm, lean forward, attack the neck. He slides down, control the Americana Kimura, turn it, lock it, switch it, 
and now I have my options of submissions like I just showed all right so hopefully you guys like this systematic way of attacking from the back with the straight jacket hole thank you Thank you.